Okay, so the pulse and voltage checker is designed specifically for testing pulses. Ordinarily, you would need a, an oscilloscope to, to see if pulses are coming out of your ABS or the alternator or ECU or distributor or crank angle sensor. So anything that can give out a pulse can be checked with a pulse checker. Um, there are voltage levels and then there's pulses. I'm just going to talk about voltage levels. So basically you can see voltage levels. Let me connect this to the power supply quickly. So without the power button pressed, you can look at the level on the analog light. Um, the reason we keep the switch separate is so that you save power when it's not in use. So if you move over to the, to the power supply here, you can see that if I take the voltage down and then there's a three volt pulse. And then as I take it up, it's a five volt pulse. And as I take it up, it's the 12 volt level. So you can detect voltage levels of steady state waveforms, but also voltage levels of pulses. So let's move to a pulse generator like a magnetic distributor, which has got only two wires. Let's connect this there. there. So basically this is a two wire magnetic distributor. And if I spin the rotor, you can see that the analog light is flashing, right? But if I spin it really fast, you can't see it, right? So this is where the circuitry comes into play. If I... So you can also see the 3 volt light flashing and as I go faster the 5 volt light flashes. So this gives you the level of the pulses coming out because sometimes a faulty distributor would have a lower level of pulses and may not be sufficient to start a car. So you could pick up the voltage level, the levels of the pulse as well as you can physically see the pulse. So you don't need an oscilloscope. Um, a pulse can only be viewed in an oscilloscope, but the pulse and voltage check, check allows you to, to view it.